All right, I'm recording you. Um, how do I sound? What, what do you, I'm getting you, I think, at 5'9". Well, I got you up and down because the band's up and down, but you're a 5'6", five, 5'7", five, mostly. Man, you're doing pretty darn good. So say what you did again. You said something about your time. You moved it. I removed the balin or the choke. I said I removed that choke. I told you to remove that choke, man. It's going to choke you out. You won't get nowhere with that sucker. I tried telling you that. See, I've been a CD operator for 10 years before I became a ham operator. And before that, I did now a ham operator, what, for 2018? Over. DLO, you're booming here, man. I'm in my backyard. I I'm recording this, and then... Um... I'll, I'll put it up on uh, YouTube and you get to watch it. Yeah, see what's up, see what's up. You jumped down to a 5.6, five, 5.6, six, five, six, but you still good here in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Sorry for the background noise. You got the washing and dryer going if you guys can hear it. Um, when you put the YouTube video up there, Theo, put my link of my YouTube channel in the description. Um, yeah, I tried telling you that um, last night or night before. We moved that darn choke over. Yeah, it's weird because I was closer to that guy and he couldn't hear me that good. And you were further away and you were booming in there, man. That's a negative. He's only in Ohio. He's not here when you said he was in Ohio. He's just across the Lake Erie. No, uh... Yeah, I'm trying to think that. Yeah, he's just across Lake Erie, actually. So he's actually closer to me than he is to you. You're more closer to, uh, New York. Or you're more closer to, um... Lake Huron, or Lake Ontario, I should say. On the East Coast, he's in Ohio. Yeah, that one guy. But the other guy, the guy that was in, um... Oh, damn, I forget what the other guy was now. Let me check. He was in... I got it here, um... Yeah, one guy was in Ohio, but the other guy was in, um... I forget now, over... Dude, man, your your audio quality is amazing. Your microphone is so good. I got you at S9. I can't believe I finally get to talk to you. This is so cool, bud. Yeah, so what did you do is that when you took the RF choke off that antenna, what else did you do? Oh, man, you almost, you peaked S20. Dude, you're 20 over. I just took out the Balin and I reconnected the, the coax to straight to the antenna. Like I tried telling you, right? And you just hooked up the coax screw to the antenna, and you took that uh, round little metal thing out with the dial in it. Is that correct? Yeah, but I might put it back on. I don't know. I don't know, man. If you put that back on, I'm telling you right now, it's going to choke you. It's going to choke you. When it chokes you, what I'm trying to say is, it's going to block the RF. So what a dial in is supposed to, not the dial in, but it's like an RF choke. Because what I try to tell you that, when you got the wire around that metal ring, Yeah, I think you're right. You're right, man. Um, man, I wish, dude, I wish me and you were in the same school class and study ham radio. You're right, you're right, man. You know so much. Hey, man, are you still live streaming? Uh, yeah, I'm still live streaming. Actually, I'm on YouTube right now. VA3 DLO, YouTube channel name. Um, we went down to an S5. S5. 
Guys, welcome to VA3 DLO's live stream. If you're not here, you're nowhere, man. This is where the party's at. VA3 DLO, the best live stream. Uh, just a question for you, CEO. Did you ever check the SWR? And a uh, question for you. Did you ever hook that uh, antenna up to your 7300 ICOM? I think you have an ICOM 7300, right? Yeah, I, I did not hook it up to the 7300. I'm scared if I blow it. So I'm just, you'll see the video. I'm just running a ICOM 7000. And uh, no, I did not check SWR. I don't have a meter. Well, I don't know what the heck you're doing, but you're making a fine trip down to Windsor, Ontario, like five or six hours away. I'm going to say around six hours away because I think you moved out of Toronto. So you're on the other side of Toronto. Well, hey, six hours away, give or take, you're making a fine trip here. Uh, just to offer three, the elderly mosque, I believe it's VA3, oh yeah, I think it is. Yeah, this is VA3, the uh, Oscar Alpha X-Ray. I live in Bowmanville. Have you heard of a city called Peterborough? I'm only 30 minutes away. Funny, funny, funny. My, my mom's parents used to live in, um, holy crap, yo. I know Bowmanville pretty well. My parents used to live there years ago. I was born in Coburg, Ontario, Canada. Coburg, Ontario. Ha <laughs> ha. What a small little world, eh? Um, also, Peterborough, Ontario. Uh, I used to live up in Algonquin Park in Canada. Here's a short story for you. My family used to live up in Algonquin Park when I was little. And we used to go to Peterborough, Ontario. We used to go to the Peterborough Mall to go shopping. Ha ha, over. Hey, DLO, stay here. Stay here. I just got to, my, my wife's making me some peanut butter. I'll be right back. QSL, QSL. I'll stand by. VA3 DLO and a QSL or VA3. O-A-X.